Hi. Let's play the game. We should play the game. Um, I'm back at town. Because I needed to buy potions? Did I do that? Totally. Plenty of potions. Not even a problem. All the money's gone anyways. <laughs> Let's look at our party for the first time. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, I made a character. What have we got? Okay. So we could start to have someone on Archer is what I'm seeing. Were we using a female chemist? Totally no. Is there any reason why? Probably because Archer is a prerequisite for like a whole bunch of jobs. I should probably pull that shit out while I'm playing. Job tree. Final fan. Fantasy tactics. The word fantasy doesn't start with the letter T, by the way. Um, just in case any of you were curious. I would prefer for this to take the form of a picture. Alright, everyone. Um, wow. That didn't work like I wanted it to at all. Okay, let's do... A little bit. This is totally going to work fine, by the way. I know how to, how to change... ...things. Just stay with me here, okay? Is it this one? There we go. <laughs> so this is what I wanted to look at. So Archer leads to Thief, which is a pretty central job to have level 4. And at some point we'll have to do Knight as well. Um, neither Knight or Archer are jobs that I have any interest in keeping on for any length of time. But, like, they have all the nice things locked behind them. Like, Dragoon is pretty powerful. I like Geomancer a lot, even though it's only moderately strong. It's, like, kind of underwhelming later in the game, but... I like it a lot. And then over on the right, we'll need to start getting in on our white magic and black magic. For those... The one guy who can. Like, the the one. <laughs> Just the one guy. Uh, assuming that he has JP up. Alright. So... You. Actually, he doesn't need to have learned a JP up yet because he's just going to steal it from the other squires that are in the party. So that's fine. What do you have for items? Potion, antidote, phoenix down? That's all you really need. Okay, so you're changing jobs. Do we want white mage first or black mage first? Um. It depends. What can we get? Just cure. <laughs> Just cure. Alright. And uh, neither of these are really good, so don't worry about it. White Mage has really good actions, but that's it. Black Mage. I think I would choose to take Fire and Thunder and not Blizzard. For no special reason. I usually cast thunder on things. It's probably just a superstition. Arcane strength is a good ability. Um, eventually. Like, don't equip it as soon as you can. Because you'd rather be getting JP up. And magic counter is perfectly fine. But 
That only works on magic. I'm pretty sure you have to know the spell that you were hit by in order to do the counterattack, but I'm... I don't, I don't know that for sure. Probably we'll start with... Oh man, but if we start with Black Mage... Like, he can't still throw potions. Like, we would have to learn throw items, and then we would have to equip it over JP up when he gets that over... Probably after the next battle. <sighs> we'll go White Mage. That way he'll still have a ranged healing capability. And then later on, that will be easier to translate into a support skill for Black Mage. Do we have equipment? <laughs> no! <laughs> Not at all! This is fine. It's fine. This... That's fine. Um... Do I want to teach Delita anything? I'm going to give him JP boost. Because I think it will allow other people in the party to also gain more JP when he gains JP. But I don't know that for sure. I'm just crossing my fingers. Why do you have defend? What's wrong with you? Did I give you that? Oh man. Spend a little bit. That's okay. I won't even worry about it. Nobody likes our goth anyways. He's a total loser. He has no friends and he's a little traumatized about it. Uh, yeah, like seven off. That's good. Probably I should check these things and like take notes if I wanted to be really efficient. But I don't. He already has JP boost. He has re equip for some reason. That's interesting. Probably I'm not using him. Oh yeah, his bravery is pretty low. Can I? Dang it. Then delete us. Oh god, Argoth has the most bravery. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. But never mind. It's fine. The sword is fine. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't like that at all. <laughs> anyway, um... Do I want an archer? That's the real question. So we have a white mage. We're using... These two... The white mage and rams, uh... You already have JP at boost, which is all you really need. Do we make him a knight? Do we even own a bow? No, <laughs> we don't own a bow. All right, so he's not going to be an archer. Do we have any knight gear? No, <laughs> not even a little bit. You're a squire. Just deal with it. Everyone go home. Double check. Abilities. Alright. It'll have to do. So oh, yeah, I'm really, really good at keeping my focus and just solving the problem that's presented in front of me. You can tell, right? White Mage doesn't need a weapon, you guys.
Well, this mission is actually slightly difficult. Since we're not doing any grinding, especially, like, we're just not gonna have that many abilities. Um, hopefully Delita and Argoth can carry their... Fucking weight. <laughs> not just be corpses up on that building in the background. Dude, where are they? They're in the desert. Of note, Rams is totally not where I put him. That's okay. Yeah, everyone was in a line, right? His name is Wegriff. Step one of being corpses up on top of that house. Getting on the house. Status complete. Yeah, these black mages are a little bit scary. Since they, um, have equipment. <laughs> White Mage, critical HP, turn one. It's a good start. So let's look at the, the state of things. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So, let's make sure that doesn't happen again. Come with me. Yup. All better. Right. We're definitely fine. Nothing happened. <coughs> Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up showing it. I bought a cane for the white mage. It was 120 gold. We had 200. I was like, whatever. Now I don't have to feel the guilt. Oh. He shot someone else this time. I must have placed them slightly differently. I did not think that I did, but I must have. Let's take a look. Yep. So we have this asshole up here. Um, so archers have two different kinds of bows. They have the two-handed, like, classic archery bow, and um, they can also wield crossbows, which are one-handed. Archers can wear shields. Um, longbows and crossbows fire differently. Crossbows fire in a straight line, and longbows fire in an arc. Um, because of their arcing nature, longbows can take advantage of high ground to extend their range, whereas bow guns, not so much. So this guy, even though the longbow has a range of five, he fired from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles to shoot this squire. Keep that in mind. <laughs> he can hit you from multiple zip codes away up here like and that's why um the guest ai wants to go up there right away and they want to fucking cancel that guy's dominance of the battlefield um 
my concern about that strategy is merely that we don't have a lot of easy ways to approach enemies if we move most of our guys up here. Um, they're all archers and black mages, actually, now that I think about it. Like, all archers and black mages. And there's this one fucking knight. So, if we go up on this high ground, this is six height, and as we learned in the first mission, we don't have that much jump. We only have three jump. So if we're up here, we can't get down. Like, we're stuck. The only way down is to take these steps. And having to go through a choke with my melee party against all these ranged attackers, that doesn't feel very good. Um, so we're just gonna let Delita and Argoth do whatever they're gonna do. And we're gonna try and figure something out for ourselves. Um, man, if I move forward, I mean I have to move forward though, right? Everyone does. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I could focus instead. If I already moved, totally did. It's pretty poor odds. We got it though. We don't really want to just burn a turn after we've moved up that far. Focusing. Hmm. 0% because it hit Rams in the back of the head. <sighs> yeah, just heal yourself. Let's take a look at the spacing. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You also only have three jump. So he actually can't progress past Ramza. So the knight will definitely attack Ramza. Um, this guy has a little bit more flexibility. But it's impossible to know like what spells he has. Like if he has Fyra, <laughs> we might lose some people. Oh, he'll probably target this tile here. So that he hits Ramza and Jonathan. But I'd kind of rather that he not. <laughs> oh yeah, you still don't have any fundaments. That's funny. You're at full HP now. Mmm. I'm a little leery of this mission, so we'll just pass her turn. We don't really want to get any closer to the archer on the house than we need to, even though you could probably shoot this far. Uh, we might as well be as cautious as we can. Okay, so he's targeting the two squires in the back. This is actually kind of ideal. Um, I think he placed it on... What the fuck is your name? Jonathan. I know that ends with an S. Don't question me. So... It's too bad. The movement's not that good. Yeah, the fire will go off first and then the cure. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so when you're selecting your ability and it has a cast time, you'll see it has that little icon there. Uh, it has a charge speed of 25 that works in exactly the same way as the charge timer for character turns. After it fills up to 100, the effect goes off. 
So 25 is four counts, four ticks of time passing. Um, so it's very fast. But it's still happening after fire was started, which is also 25. So cure goes very quickly after fire. Um, honestly, the fact that we got any turns in that time period um, was a little fortunate. <laughs> Boom. Yay. Is he wearing boots or something? He moved kind of far. That was like five tiles or something. Good. I mean, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going to die. That's that's nice. I love dying. Jonathan will go first. So he 